Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com. Today I wanted to talk to you about light bulbs. In particular, um, about light bulbs that seem to burn out much more frequently in certain light fixtures than others. Uh, there's a number of reasons why that can happen. Um, first, it's very possible that uh, there could be some type of electrical wiring issue with the circuit. Um, if you throw the switch on and off and the light bulb doesn't seem to work even after you replaced it, um, it's a possibility that the wiring an issue inside um, the circuit. And in that case, I recommend bringing an electrician. But beyond that, there are a number of other possibilities that you can check out for yourself. Um, number one is that light bulbs um, can be are very sensitive to vibration. And light bulbs that are in, um, placed in electric car garage door openers or ceiling light fixtures that have a second floor, finished second floor above it where people are walking up and down and moving around on a regular basis. Those light bulbs have the tendency to burn out earlier because of the vibrational movement associated with all the jarring of, um, in, in motion in the floor or with the garage door opener. And in those cases, I recommend using a rough service light bulb that has a much um, uh, stronger uh, rugged filament that can survive those vibrational movements. Second, overheating is another major issue with bulbs, particularly in enclosed light fixtures. Light fixtures that, again, in ceiling lights, uh, where there's two or three bulbs in the fixture itself. That can cause um, excess heat to build up, and the excess heat uh, basically shortens the life of the bulb. So in those cases, you want to make sure you're using no more than the maximum rated light bulb for, um, for the fixture itself, and I actually recommend stepping down a notch. If it was a 60-watt bulb, uh, up to 360 watt bulbs in the light fixture, I would suggest maybe going to uh, 340 watts or just put two of the 60 watt bulbs in it. The third issue relates specifically to compact fluorescent light bulbs. Um, they are susceptible to turning on and off. Every time you turn on a CFL bulb, a uh, compact fluorescent light bulb, um, an extra shot of current is needed to, to kind of get it going. And that effectively shortens the life of the bulb. So CFLs that are meant to last a long time um, can actually have their life shortened if they're being turned on and off. So I recommend with those types of bulbs, if you're going to use them, put them in places where you're going to turn the light on and leave it on for a long period of time. For example, in the evening, if you're going to turn on a family room or a living room light and it's going to stand for four to five hours, a CFL is a perfect place for it. But in a kitchen where you're going to be turning the light switch on and off on a much more regular basis, I recommend you stay away from CFL bulbs. Another possibility for why the light bulb is burning out more frequently than it should is that um, when the light bulb is placed into the electrical light socket, the base of the light bulb may not be making good contact with the brass tab that sits at the bottom of the electrical light socket. Uh, the way to check for this is with the light fixture unplugged or the power turn off the main circuit panel to the, let's say, um, ceiling light fixture, you're going to remove the bulb and look at the brass contact that sits at the base of it. It should be up at about a 20 or 30 degree angle. Um, if it isn't and you have a bulb in there, it may be making an intermittent contact with that brass tab and causing arcing to going on uh, on the bulb itself, which would shorten the life of the bulb. So what you want to do is, again, with power off to the light fixture or the light fixture completely unplugged, you're going to take a pair of insulated pliers and you're going to pull that tab slightly up so you have about a 20 to 30 degree angle. This way, when you put the new bulb in, uh, you should have a good contact. So to, to check this um, issue after you've adjusted the tab, Turn power back on to the light fixture or, or plug the light um, uh, socket back into the, to the wall outlet. And then just uh, with the light switch in the on position, just screw in the bulb. As soon as the bulb turns on, rotate the bulb no more than one eighth to another quarter uh, rotation and stop. This way you won't over tighten the bulb and, and cause that brass tab to go too flat of an angle. And the reason for that is later on when that bulb has lived its long life hopefully and you replace it with a new bulb, that new bulb will still have good contact uh, at the base of it uh, with that brass uh, element. Lastly, bulb quality is another important factor uh, when buying light bulbs. Um, if you go out to a dollar store and buy a pack of 10 light bulbs, you kind of get what you pay for. The filaments in those light bulbs are, are very uh, fragile and very susceptible to breaking. So it's worth spending a little extra money and buying a, a more quality light bulb um, so that you can avoid the issues with uh, vibrational concerns and overheating of the light bulb. So to conclude, if you have a light bulb burning out problem, I recommend you try one or more of these tips to see if you can resolve the problem. And again, if you still can't seem to resolve the problem, I'd call an electrician um, to see if they can find the root source of the issue. Remember, if you have other home improvement questions, make sure to visit HomeEditionPlus.com today.